Hey there, guys. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite in-ring performers, Ricochet, today. Something sad might happen. He has already said that he is not going to be re-signing with the WWE when his contract expires this summer. Me being a humongous Ricochet fan, I don't want him to leave the WWE. I want to see him shine more. I feel like he could do more. But then at the same time, there's this other part in me that's like, I, he may have already reached his ceiling in WWE. I don't know how much they could push him and him actually work. His promo work is not very good. And like I said, he's one of my favorites. But, I mean, I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I don't know how far he can go just because of his lack of promo ability, lack of charisma. What are they supposed to do with him? Because for right now, his job is come out, impress people with all the moves that you can do, and leave. There's nothing else for him to do. No good storylines that he could do because he can't talk to get a good storyline going. So it does really suck for Ricochet. But if he does leave WWE, he's not done with wrestling. He is a talented performer. Would he go to AEW? I'm not sure. I don't I don't know if I would even want to see him in AEW. I feel like AEW might would just... That they wouldn't help him any more than what the WWE is doing. Maybe he's one of these guys like Drew McIntyre whenever he became Drew Galloway and explored the indies, like what Matt Cardona is doing right now and is probably the greatest to ever do it, create himself as a completely new person on the indie scene. Ricochet is just that talented to where he could go work on the indies. He might could start showing what he actually has. Maybe he is good at promos. Maybe if you put him on one of these smaller scenes like an indie show, he will have good promos. I mean, come on, that makes sense. You're on the biggest stage of them all, WWE. Everybody would be nervous in this situation. I'm just being honest. Maybe he could do more on the indies. There's a reason why he was seen as such a big deal coming into the WWE. When he was coming from Lucha Underground, he's this huge signing. Everybody's excited. Look at what this guy can do. In NXT, everybody's saying, look at what this guy can do. He is crazy. But he never got higher than that, other than being a big performer. So I I don't know what they're... Maybe he would do good in TNA. I feel like there are some dream matches that he could have in TNA right now that would just completely be amazing him versus speedball mike bailey i i i want to see this match speedball mike bailey if you don't know who he is if you don't pay attention to tna he's an incredible performer speedball mike bailey is just amazing go watch his one hour match versus josh alexander that is amazing that's an amazing match it's a full hour, and they were fast-paced the entire time. It was a great match. And Ricochet, being the athletic guy he could be, him and Mike Bailey could have one of those matches. I, I think he could maybe do something in TNA. He might would be able to shine with his promo abilities in TNA. You never really know. Of course, a lot of people's analogies, they like to say small fish in the sea and everything. But TNA right now, when it comes to, like, actual big stars with these big names that are gonna like completely sell out an entire crowd it's a very little sea right now there's not not a lot of big fish in there so ricochet wouldn't have as much competition so he might would be able to shine more so yeah that's all i got to say about ricochet i know somewhere wherever he goes he's not leaving the wrestling business he's gonna do good things he's still going to be Having these people saying, oh, wow, this dude is absolutely amazing in ring. I just hate that his promo abilities are slacking.